calling this the Zero to Hero training camp. We ran it for the first time in 2017 and ultimately it is just to create grassroots rugby to recruit for the core uh, rugby team. It's not just about Army Rugby or Army Medical Services Rugby. Um, we encourage them to go on to play for their local communities and the local rugby clubs. And obviously we want to feed the Army Rugby Union as well. That's our ultimate goal. And I think we do quite well at that in the Army Medical Services. The first year we did it, we had 36 players. And this is the second year and we've now got 44. Our attention levels are really, really good. The first year we only lost six players uh, going into the 17-18 season. So hopefully we'll keep that retention going into now the 18-19 season. So this week we've had uh, Army Medical Services down who have come down and done a, a ro int introduction into Rugby Week, uh, so Zero to Hero they've called it. So they've been looking at the very basics of rugby um, across five days, so looking at the catch pass, uh, decision making um, and basically just having fun playing rugby as, a, as an introduction into the game. nice to see um, and the best thing for me to, is seeing just girls running around with a ball in their hand. We've also launched a touch rugby programme that we're running out of older shots so a lot of these girls have actually come down to that as well which shows that they're really trying to, to keep in rugby um, and hopefully when they leave at the end of this week they'll, they'll play regularly. So I'm a great believer in, in sport and education and I think the two together can have a massive impact on people and especially the type of people that you get in the services. I think the two combined together can be a really good promotion for the sport, for the, their personal development and hopefully the army as a whole.